Since a lot of you responded so positively to my Marvel Knights Cinematic Universe video, I figured I'd make an extra video to hold you all over for a bit while I plan out the Marvel Knights Part 2 video. In this video, I'm going to tell you about my favorite comic book movie moments. This list is not ranked in any particular order, but consists of my five favorite moments from both Marvel and DC. I'm excluding moments from the television shows since there are too many and I have not watched all the shows to make a definitive list or an overall list of what's good and what's not. This will strictly be geared towards live action comic book movies. Now on to DC. Superman 3 doesn't have a great reputation either, but from what I've noticed on this list so far is that I have some unfavorable movies, but some cool scenes within it. And Superman vs. Clark Kent from Superman 3 is just one of those. Seeing the persona of Superman and Clark Kent at odds with each other was interesting as a child. Not only was it interesting to see one actor play two characters and have them fight each other, it was like Clark Kent fighting himself. Yeah, the fight's goofy and whatever, especially with this scene. But what makes it so interesting is all the stuff that happens within it too. I mean, Clark Kent getting crushed in a trash compactor only to break out of it with Superman's strength. And just when Superman thinks he's free of Clark Kent, Clark Kent breaks out and chokes out Superman. And the way this whole thing ends with Clark Kent choking a manifestation of himself, and then John Williams' theme slowly building up, and then finally playing with the reveal of the shirt and symbol, is just iconic. The Batman did what other Batman movie didn't really do enough effectively, in my opinion. Usually it's, okay, a little bit build up here, and then boom, reveal Batman. But what Matt Reeves' Batman did differently was that it had Bruce Wayne narrating his thoughts as if you were reading a comic book. So when you hear the thoughts of Bruce Wayne as Batman, with all this cinematography building up to how people fear Batman, it puts up a different mood. Matt Reeves' Batman was able to set the example of why people fear Batman and really ham it home. And the visuals being shown is just helped with the narration from Robert Pattinson's portrayal of Bruce Wayne. They think I'm hiding in the shadows, but I am the shadows. Just short sentences like that really hit home how Batman works and his mentality and all that. It's just so effective. There's a lot of good scenes in Watchmen and so many that I could talk about, but I would say the one that sticks out the most is the smartest man of the cinder scene. We get the entire roster of the Watchmen trying to come up with a plan to combat crime. And mind you, this is a time when they were still in their prime, still not in their, you know, depressive phase or whatever, or post-superhero ban phase. So at this point, you're seeing the Watchmen at their best. They're operating, they're doing stuff, they're getting shit done. Except Comedian. Everyone at the council is ready to get shit done, whereas Comedian, he's kind of jaded. He's been through so much fights and he's seen things come and go that he's just kind of fed up with the fight. So you already have that duality between Comedian and the rest of the Watchmen. Comedian's that jaded soldier who has seen, I've seen war, I've seen all this happen, you kids haven't seen anything. Whereas the other Watchmen, they're all kind of still naive and still wanting to save the world, especially Rorschach, and especially the smartest man on earth, Ozymandias. This scene also serves as a, you know, kind of a battle, battle line drawing point between Comedian, Ozymandias, and the Watchmen. Because, let's not forget, this is Ozymandias' perspective of when he's at Comedian's funeral. This is the one moment in Adrian Veidt's life that he made the turn from naive hero to make that whole plan that happens in Watchmen movie. In previous Superman movies, you usually see him just kind of easily beat up people, Superman in Man of Steel, when he fights Zod, is the first time you see him actually really fight and you see all the carnage that happens around him. You're seeing Superman fight who's willing to put everything at risk to stop Zod, but then there's Zod who's hellbent on destroying everything since he has gotten everything taken away from him. So Superman has everything to lose, Zod has nothing to lose. So when you have those two character aspects in mind, seeing these two fight is just insane. You see Zod climbing as if he's a freaking animal, whereas Superman is still trying to stay composed and take control of the situation. And the entire highlight of this moment is when Zod's armor comes off and you see him finally fly. Seeing these two in their respective outfits kind of harken back to the Richard Donner Superman 2 for me, where you see Superman and Zod fighting in their own respective Kryptonian outfits. I also forgot to mention the neck snap. It's highly controversial and there's a lot of opinions on it, but... 
my personal opinion is, what was Kal-El gonna do? That was the only option he had, because Zod was never gonna stop attacking humanity. That's my two cents. It was a hard decision to choose between the bank robbing scene with Joker or the plane scene with Bane. So I went for the plane scene with Bane. Now, now, hear me out. Heath Ledger's Joker definitely has the better performance. Well, I guess I could say that the highlight for me was not just how they got a plane hooking onto another plane. It was more of the brother of Bane that really sold this entire moment for me. In the Joker robbing scene, everyone is already kind of cunning and betraying each other left and right. Whereas the plane scene, you have Bane's brother who is so loyal and so down for his cause that he's just like, he's down for it. Like, if we're gonna start the fire, I'll be the one to do it. And just the dedication from him wanting to be a part of his movement and willing to die in a plane for him is just, I feel like that's a little more creepy and more powerful to me in this moment.